Well, a troubling Obama era scandal is now back in the spotlight, but details may remain in the dark for years. One America's Thomas Chessy has more on the move that's infuriating government watchdog groups. Documents relating to former National Security Advisor Susan Rice's surveillance of the Trump transition team are now sealed away at the Obama Library. Rice admits that surveillance took place, but denies that it was politically motivated. There were occasions when I would receive a report in which uh, a U.S. person was referred to, name not provided, just U.S. person. And sometimes in that context, in order to understand the importance of the report and assess its significance, it was necessary to find out or request the information as to who that U.S. official was. Watchdog group Judicial Watch requested documents relating to the surveillance last April, but received a surprising response from the NSC stating, quote, you should be aware that under the Presidential Records Act, presidential records remain closed to the public for five years after an administration has left office. Reasons for the information's transfer to the library are unclear, but the move comes shortly after House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes subpoenaed the documents earlier this month. President Trump has said that he thinks the Susan Rice controversy is a massive story, bigger than anyone knows. Conspicuously, the documents will spend the next five years in the library, including the entirety of the president's first term. Thomas Chessie, One American News.